Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to make a sprite sheet using the three sprites we made in the past two videos. So for the first thing you'll want to do is open up Krita and go into file and make a new document. Click on new. Or you can press ctrl n on the keyboard. Uh, now we'll have to do a little bit of uh, simple maths over here. Alright, so I have my calculator out right now. Since we kept the size of our documents to 256 by 256, all we have to do is multiply each parameter by 2 and uh, we'll add a 0.5 in there just to sort of add a little bit of extra space. So what we'll have to do is 256 into 2.5. There you go. So 640. Now this is going to be a little bit big, but that's okay. Uh, we'll need to make the size of our canvas 640 by 640. Uh, let's keep it at uh, 300 ppi resolution. That's totally fine. Click on create and this right here is a canvas. Now what I want to do is bring the three images that we made into this particular document. All right, so here is the folder that I have saved my images in. I'm going to control click and select all three of the images required and I'm going to left click and drag it into Krita. Now when you drag it into Krita you should see this sort of thing. Uh, click on insert many layers. Do not click on open many documents otherwise you'll have three extra documents for each picture which is not what you want. And as you can see the images have been brought into Krita. Now what I'm going to do is move them and to do this I'm going to select the move tool that is a shortcut T, keyboard shortcut T and I'm going to select the spike layer and move it to the right somewhere over here it seems like a good amount of space over there next I'm going to select the ground texture layer and I'm going to move it somewhat close to the spike texture but I'm going to try and make sure that I leave enough of space so that when you import this into any game engine then it just becomes a little bit easier for the engine to recognize each sprite otherwise it'll recognize uh, both of these sprites as one single sprite which is clearly not what we want so the final thing we're going to do is move the brick layer again i'm going to select the move tool that is keyboard shortcut t and move it close to the ground texture but not too close all right okay so now clearly this canvas that we made was a little bit too big so what we're going to do is select the, uh, the rectangular selection tool, control R, and make a nice little border around our little image. And we want to make sure that there is a little bit of extra space on all four sides of our image. Now, once I left click on outside the, can uh, outside the canvas and bring it all the way down here, as you can see by default, it just selected the upper part of the canvas over here and it just went down to wherever I left my mouse button. Now uh, you want to go into image and click on trim to selection. Boom, there you go. Just press control shift A, uh, that should deselect everything. Now this is what's actually going to make it transparent and a proper PNG sprite sheet. All you have to do is, uh, you can see this layer one over here, right here, right here, you can see where my mouse is. Just disable that, there you go. This checkerboard sort of uh, pattern over here, that indicates that it's transparent, that there is no background layer behind our images. And now we're going to just save this. So I'm gonna click on file. Uh, first of all, I want to save this document itself. So I'm going to click on uh, save as and let's see uh, what do I want to name this brick you know what brick sprite and ground there you go there you go dot kra just remove that that's not necessary uh, click on save and there you go I just press enter that's it now I'm going to export the actual sprite sheet so I'm going to click on file click on export and as you can see I'm already in my designated folder I'm going to select PNG, click on the drop down menu and select PNG and let's name this a uh, ground spike and brick sprite sheet. There you go. That's a PNG image and that's it. You can leave the uh, settings as they are by default or you can bump up the compression all the way to 9 or you can reduce the compression all the way to 1. That's up to you but I personally prefer to keep it at 1 just because and click on okay that's it 
our sprite sheet is ready. Now, if you want to see an excellent use of this exact sprite sheet, Demkeys has done an amazing tutorial where he shows you how to make a simple 2D platformer game using this sprite sheet. And he uses Unity to make it. So he uses the tile map editor if any of you are interested in learning about that. It's a really good tutorial. I highly recommend you check it out. So thank you all so much for watching and goodbye.